just got off work and I am in the parking lot of REI. I am returning my skis, how sad. But, uh, I had a really bad day at work again. Um, I was in Floral, which is always better than Starbucks. Um, but our district manager in Starbucks came on Sunday when our worst barista was working. Everything was not done or either done wrong. And my manager has been off for the past four days and today was her first day back and she got yelled at by Dan the store manager and then came downstairs and told my brother Jeffrey I just got yelled at and it's all because you and your sister so she blames everything on me and my brother which doesn't make any sense because I work in the morning and I do everything right and I can't help it if the night person isn't doing anything they're supposed to be doing like, we're supposed to make coffee every 15 minutes, which I actually think is ridiculous, but I do it. The night person wasn't making coffee, wasn't making drinks to standard, didn't have stickers on things that say when things expire, call them date dots, but didn't have any date dots on anything or timers going for anything and wasn't putting names on cups because that's apparently a big thing that we're doing now is Every single cup has to have a name on it, which is another thing I think is stupid, but at least I do it, and I'm not going to say I'm perfect. So the one time this weekend that Dan checked the creamer, which is the one thing he keeps on telling me about, well, that one time this weekend that I checked it, there wasn't, that's because I just got off my break, fall and put the creamer out, I did not check it. And then she goes on her break, and Dan comes down, looks at the creamer, sees that I'm working, and that there isn't a sticker on it. And me, I'm not the kind of person to name names or throw somebody else under the bus. If I feel like something's not my fault, I do not stand up for myself. I just take the beating. Because one, I do not want other baristas to think that I'm the kind of person to name names and throw other people under the bus. And also, if I do that, then it makes me look bad because I'm just making up excuses. So, of course it's going to look like everything's my fault because I just sit there and smile and nod at the big boss and say, yeah, okay, I'm sorry, yep, all right, I'll do better, blah, blah, blah. And then they leave, continually thinking that everything's my fault. <sighs> so yeah, bad day yesterday. Because Dan yelled at me. Bad day today. Because Michelle blames everything on us. So. I almost put in my two weeks today. But then Dan talked to me. And. Uh. There's a shadow from the water droplets that are on my windshield. Looks like I have a scar. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, almost put in my two weeks today, but when Dan, the big boss guy, came and talked to me, he... Everything I said that Michelle does that I think isn't right, blaming us, yelling at us for no reason, she will literally, like, okay, she always takes a three or four day weekend while the rest of us are working with two separate days. Like, we'll have a Wednesday and a Saturday off, which sucks because you can't really do anything with that. But yeah, so, so she will take a four or three day weekend while we're working with split days. Because she's stressed out. Or her excuse this weekend was she worked nine days in a row when 
When she told me that, I said, okay, well, just last week I worked 12 days in a row. She will say, I don't care. I don't care about your feelings. Every single time we complain about something or tell her something, she says, I don't care. So our boss sucks. And yeah, like I said yesterday, my New Year's resolution is to get a new job. I just need to figure out what I want to do. And I'm pretty sure Jeffrey's in the same boat as me. Anyways, it's like 8 o'clock and I've been talking for 8 minutes. So, I'm going to return my skis and then, you can't see it, but in the little strip mall I'm in, there's a coffee shop. I'm gonna go get something to drink because every time I have a bad day I'm always like I deserve something so I'm gonna go buy me a sugary drink and then I'm gonna go home hopefully Jeffrey's there if Jeffrey's there then we're making cookies tonight and that'll be our night so I'll see you guys later Bye. I love it when the barista, I don't know, I am terrible at making decisions, so I always ask the barista, what's your favorite drink? And, uh, well this one recommended a rooibos tea latte with orange and vanilla. It's a very interesting combination. What's that? That's pretty good. I'm not a big fan of Rebo's tea. I don't know why. It's like too. It's got. It's just got a weird flavor to it. It's pretty good. Oh, all right. I can finally unwind from today. Tomorrow is going to be better, right? I was trying to think of like what on earth I would do with my life. <laughs> if I did put my two weeks in and it would be really nice not having to work for a while but my dad would not allow that every single day he'd be bugging me about if I went out and found a job or where I applied to he'd text me about information for job fairs so that's not an option this whole idea of a job it's just stupid. <laughs> I know it sounds like really lazy of me, but it just, you get a job and you work your entire life and hopefully save up for retirement, but that's best case scenario type of thing. Most people I know are going to work until they die. And that's so depressing. <sighs> what is life? <laughs> and why do we do it? I'm trying to figure out what on earth I'm going to do with my life. I ask myself that question every day. What am I doing? I don't have an answer.